Hello, hello, hello. Happy New Year, everyone. <laughs> hey, what is up? Hello, Mr. AJ. I'm glad you are with me. Oh, now, why doesn't, why doesn't this come up here? Let's just double, let's just make sure we are rocking here. There it goes. Okay, now we're ready to go. All right. Hey, my name's Kurt. I'm a dad who draws, and this is our a special edition of our live draw. Uh, we have a live draw happening every Monday, uh, Monday afternoon and Wednesday afternoon at 2 o'clock uh, Eastern Time. But this happens to be the last day of uh, 2022, and I thought we should end it up with kind of a New Year's a New Year's Eve portrait of this gentleman from the Victorian age with his top hat. And I'm going to show you a couple things, a special, especially how to properly draw a hat on somebody. And it could be any kind of hat. It could be a top hat, a baseball hat, or a cowboy hat. There are some definitely definite things you want to do that will make that process so much easier. So anyways, I'm glad you're here. And if you, uh, the chat is wide open. Uh, if you have any questions during the live stream, I will be checking that out and making adjustments. And before we get started, one last thing. We have an excellent Facebook group that is uh, very active. AJ is one of the moderators and he is here with us live. Um, and I would, if you're looking for a great community of, of beginning drawers or artists, uh, check that out. The link for that is down in the description. And let's see, anything else? In addition to that, do please like the video and subscribe to the channel because um, my name's Kurt. I'm a dad who draws, and my aim is to really make you successful at drawing. Okay. So with all the business <laughs> out of the way, let's let's get into some uh, drawing a portrait. And I want to. What I want to do is I want to, there's, there's so many things to, uh, uh, to approach a portrait and, you know, I like to try and simplify it down to its most simplest of concepts. Okay. So let's start off. I've got three things I want to show you before we jump into our portrait. Okay. So if, if on your page here, okay, let's just draw three. three circles here, three, and, and you know, I wanted you to think these as more as spheres. You know, of course, on, a, on the uh, sphere, when we draw a face, we have certain elements that we look for, and it's really the beginning of it is drawing the brow line and then drawing the center line, okay? Now, on that note, I don't really like to, uh, I don't like to draw a portrait like straight on. I don't like to do that uh, with especially teaching beginners or a side view. I'd rather show you the mechanics so you can draw a portrait from any angle. Okay, so first let's look at, we'll call these A and B and C here. Okay, so let's start with A and let's just assume the center line is going to be a three quarter view. That means it's, you could three, see three quarters of the face. And what we do is we draw it like this, all right? That's a three-quarter view. You see more of one side than the other. And then B, let's draw B st straight down the center here, okay? And then C, let's make this person looking off in the other direction. That's pretty easy, okay? Now, we're going to use these, we're going to use the center line to guide ourselves as far as where to put the eyes and nose and mouth and all that good stuff. Okay, next let's talk about the brow line. All right, so in A, let's say we're looking up at the person, right? Well, then the brow line is going to circle this way because it's going across across the circumference of the circle. All right. Let's say in B, they were looking straight at us. We're looking straight at them. It might come straight across like this. And then B, let's say they were looking down. Well, then that, that line is going to be coming around like that. You see how easy that is? Uh, 
Okay, so when we're drawing portraits, this is something I want you to look for, and I call it the T, and it's this is pretty common, and 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 it's it's I want you to think of where the temples are. Temples, take my fingers, take your fingers, and you can feel them. They're on the right on the outside of your uh, uh, right on the outside of your eyebrows. Okay, so on A. It's going to be right there, and this one's going to be a little bit more further out. B, it's going to be exactly symmetrical. And C, it's going to be further out there, a little bit forward inside here. You see that? So why is this important? Because upon this, we built this thing called the T of the face. So it goes across section and down. This one's going to go across here and down. And then this is going to go across and down. Okay? So using this method, you're, what you're able to do is actually draw the face from every, any angle. You just want to drop that T in, and this becomes your, your anchor paint point for so many things. All right, next. Let's look at another thing here. All right? And... I brought my uh, my skull from. The <laughs> this sounds so creepy. I brought my skull from the basement. <laughs> we we have a basement. I live in the East Coast, so every house has a basement, and of course, a lot of people use the basement to store a lot of things. So anyhow, so here's my here's my trusty skull that I use for drawing. And first thing I want you to see is when you're looking at a head straight on, look at the. The sides of the head are very flat, okay? They're not round. So you even look at look at my head here. I'm looking straight at you, and you can see it's very flat. So let's remember when you look at a, a head straight on, it's going to be very flat, all right? This is going to be straight on. It's going to be very flat on the sides. Now, if we, if we take that head, okay, and we turn it to the side, wow, now that completely changed the, um, the shape. The shape now is very round. Look at this. Look at my head here. It's very flat on the side, and if I, it's very flat going forward, and if I turn my head to the side, it's very round, okay? So a side view is going to be very round. And then lastly, a three-quarter view. Okay, that means that means you're looking at the head not straight down, not around, but from a three-quarter view. You see that? Look at it. here's here's a th nice three-quarter view with my head. So what happens here is you ultimately have one side that is flat, and then you have the other side that is very round. Okay, so I want you to remember that. So if it's a front view, if it's a front view, sides are straight. If it's a side view, if it's a side view, it's much more round. And if it's a three quarter view, usually you'll have one side that is curved and one side that is straight. In today's drawing, you're, a picture, you're going to see that. And I'll point it out to you when we get there. So that's tip number two I want you to remember. All right, last one here. And this is, this is an important one. Well, they're all, they're all important. Okay, so let's, let's say we have... Um, draw three smileys, smileys on your page here. Okay, three smileys. And these smileys are looking straight at you, all right? Well, did you know that we can, just by the placement of these features, we actually can create the illusion of this these smiley faces looking up, down, or to the side? Let me show this to you. So this, we'll say that this guy, we'll just put a, a circle right around him, all right? So this, this is looking straight at us. This one, let's make him looking up. And all we have to do is place 
place the features toward the top of the circle. And that automatically tells us that he's looking up. And this last one, let's make this looking off to his side. So we'll place the features to the side. So this is what I call face placement. So when you're drawing, if you have a three quarter view, make sure you shift everything to one direction, okay? Don't want, you'll, you'll be tempted to want to line things up. And this also, this concept goes all the way down to the features. Let me, let me show you this idea. If you were to draw like a pair of lips looking straight at you, okay, you might draw something like this, okay? Simple, there are, there's, a, there's lips looking straight at you. Now, if I asked you to draw those lips in three quarter view, this is where it gets a little tricky, all right? Let's, I'm gonna add a center line here. Let's just say our center line is over here. What you're gonna to wanna to do is, is make this side short and then this side a little bit longer. You see? There's that inner center point there, short and then long. So same idea where you have more of the face on this side than you have over here, you see that? So just just remember this concept right here. When you're drawing three quarters, make sure make sure you are squeezing, you're squeezing everything on one side a little closer together and stretching the other things, the other features on the other side, okay? That's going to help add into your um, uh, your getting that uh, optical illusion of someone looking three quarter. This is what someone, this is what many people do. When they start drawing three quarter, they will end up putting the lips in exactly equal, all right? And it just kind of messes things up. The same thing will go with the nose, but we'll we'll get there in just a little bit, okay? So just remember those three tips. Uh, remember brow line. If you look it up, it goes with a, uh, a curve. Uh, remember face placement. Make sure all your features are on one side or the other depending on the direction and then make sure that and then lastly when you're drawing features if it's a three-quarter view make sure they squeeze up on one side versus the other all right okay here's our here's our fine gentleman so let's this is what we're going to draw here right now for the next uh, 40 minutes so like I said earlier, let's let's bring up a new layer here and I want to show you, look at this now. This is every time when I approach drawing a portrait, I always ask myself, where is the flat side and where is the curve? So look at this, there is the flat side and there's the curve, you see that? Because he's looking in three quarter, all right? If he's looking straight at, you'd have two sides. Straight at you, he would have two sides. Okay, are you ready to start? Let's do this. Okay, so uh, first part of, of drawing the portrait, what I like to do is, is determine whether it's three quarters or uh, uh, three quarters are straight on. So let's just lightly, lightly drop a straight line for the side of his face over there. And then drop a curve over here, just like this. Now remember the brow line is going to go through his uh, through his eyebrows, okay? And usually the brow line lines up with the top of the ear, all right? So since he's looking straight at us, he's not looking up, nor is he looking down. He's looking straight at us. We could just kind of drop in a uh, a straight line that's going to go around the front of his face. Okay, so the next the next line is is really kind of the cornerstone. It's the cornerstone of the building that you're about to draw, all right? And that's establishing where the center line is. 
So let me let me point it out to you before you jump into it. This this right there is going to be the center line, okay? And look, here is the side of his head, and here is the the round side, just what we just drew. So be mindful. Look at this. Look how close those are together versus how much further that is right there. In fact, what you could do is to kind of take this distance. Let's just see how many. One, two, oh, almost, almost three. All right. So let's one, two, three, four. Those are four. Okay. We could actually, we could actually just kind of break this down into four equal segments, roughly. Let's see. There's. We're going to go from this edge to that edge, right? Let's divide that in half and then divide that in half and divide that in half. Okay, so we know from right here, this is going to be about the center line of his face. And we'll just drop it, drop a nice long line down there. And then we'll drop the T, what I just showed you, that's going to go across the top, just like that. Okay, so we know, looking at this drawing, we know that the uh, one of, a measurement is the brow line is to the top of the ear. So we know that his, his ear is going to be back, back to the back here. And the other measurement we can look at is usually the bottom of the ear lines up with the bottom of the nose. Okay, so let's just kind of look at our picture here and guess, just kind of guesstimate the size of our ear. So I'm, I'm going to say it's, it's somewhere like that. And we'll come back and, and, and bring it in a little bit tighter. But let's just drop a, a light line coming across. Okay, so now we... We know that's going to be the bottom of his nose. All right, let's establish where his chin is now, okay? So I'm going to erase, I'm going to erase these things. Now, if I was if I was just kind of drawing this without without anyone watching, or without having to explain myself, these measurements I'd be doing in my head. But I say them out loud and I mark them on top of the picture so you could see what I'm talking about. Okay, so here is, all right, so here we are. Here's, here's the brow line going across. Here's the center line coming down, okay? We've measured out to be where the bottom of his nose is. Now let's use that, let's use this measurement to establish where his chin is. And it looks like it's twice. You see that? A lot of times you'll you'll read a lot of books about measurements, thirds and halves. And those are good, but I like to make my adjustments w with the person I'm drawing, okay? So the chin is gonna be halfway down. So here's the brow line. There's the bottom of the nose. All right, so right about there, that's going to be about where his chin is going to go. All right, let's let's come up back up here where his where the bottom of the ear bottom of the ear is. And let's come in here with a slight angle, and then we're going to get his jaw, because this is going to help us. We'll just kind of swing this around like this. And his other jaw is going to be directly across, and so we can use that measurement and slightly swing this around like this. And if I happen to go too fast, please just just say just say something about slowing down in the uh, slowing down in the comments, and I'll be happy to to slow the pace a bit. 
All right, you ready to keep going here? All right. Next thing, let's take a look at, uh, let's kind of work out his nose just a little bit here. And I'm going to erase. I'm going to erase these things so we can actually kind of see it. And I'm also going to make my picture a little bit bigger as we draw the face. I'll, I'll be coming down in size when we uh, start getting to the top hat. But for right now, this will be easier for you to see. Okay, so when drawing the nose, I like to usually think of the... Th I start with the third eye or the gabella. It's right here. So here we go now. I'm going to come in with a little... Just a slight V. All right, let's look to the outside of his nostril. So his outside of the nostril is going to be oh, probably somewhere out there. And remember the first thing I said about the three quarter, the other one's going to be much closer. You see that? In fact, it's so close you can't even see it. And then the tip of his nose is falling just, just below that line, just, just like that. So if you're a big fan of doing dot to dots, all right, we've got our dots in place. So let's go ahead and, and draw kind of the outline of this nose. So we're going to come down here, come down there, just kind of getting the outline. I'm not worried about the 3D quality of it quite yet. A lot of times I will like to draw what I call a containment line. Uh, it could be something like, uh, yeah, like this would be considered a containment line. Let's just say I, I had a, yeah, I'm not, uh, a cube. Now I, I wouldn't draw a cube like this. I'm just kind of showing you. That's the outside shape of the cube. And then I'm going to come in and draw the 3D aspect. But that, that's, I wouldn't draw a cube like that. I'm just trying to demonstrate to you how sometimes I will draw a containment line and then I'll come back in and draw that uh, three-dimensional aspect to it. Okay, let's keep going with this nose now. So when we do the nose, I want you to think of the nostril as like an upside down bowl or butter uh, a cup, all right? So let's see. Let's see if we can get this down here. All right, so it's kind of pointed and this far end is just something like that and we'll we'll come back in and add some value here in just a little bit. Okay, let's let's go ahead and draw this mustache because we're going to just make our way right down his face here. Now this is this is where drawing a containment line would be really uh, helpful. So what I want you to think of, I want you to think of an S curve and a C curve. All right, there's an S curve and there's a C curve. So let me show you how this is going to go here. It's going to start right here at the nose and just think of the letter S and look, look how far off the face it's going to go. You see that? So here we go. We're just going to draw this down like an S. And let's look to the right hand side. Now, before we do this, we need to make sure that this is the right side is a little bit longer than the left. So let's see here. Nice. Exaggerate just a little bit, right? Like that, I think I'm going to do. All right. 
There's the center line. All right, remember, this is a containment line. So here we go. We're going to come in here like this, and it's a there's a U for you, just like that. Okay, and the other side, straight down. Now let's let's add a little overlap to this. Let's add a little overlap, and I'm going to add it over here. Let me show you. I'm going to zoom in here so you can see what I'm going to do here. Right here, I'm going to extend this. I'm going to extend that just a little bit there. See, by extending that, what I'm saying is that this, this tip is slightly behind the other mustache. So it's going back and up. And you can kind of... You know, you get the feel of that right here. Look at this. You see that? And let's go and do that to the other side as well. So we're going to come down here just a little bit. And then have that come around. top of the lip it's going to be a slight V of course on the left hand side I'm making it a little bit shorter than the right hand side adding some tone underneath And then just below it, we're going to add just a little line. And you can kind of see that little line right here. It's right there. Okay, now let's get down to his chin, and, and you can see from his chin, this kind of curves up, so it's like a, it's doing this sort of thing. And remember, once again, oops, wrong color. A little shorter on that one side, and then a little bit longer on the other. And you can add a little bit of tone in there. Okay, so now I now that I have this, I'm gonna make I'm gonna make a slight angle to the side of his face and this is where you know we draw lightly at the beginning and then we could come back into it and make make some light adjustments okay a little slight angle all right let's let's see where this neck is now okay so his neck is literally is right below his nose almost you see this this little piece comes in just like this and this is what we could see it's coming down here underside of his chin this is the opening around his collar
I'm going to angle my neck just a little bit more over here. Now look at this. Look at the back of his neck. The back of his neck is behind his ear. You see that? So we're going to we're going to drop something down just like that. Let's see. Uh what do we have here? Miss says does the does the end of the right hand of the mustache line up with the edge of his eye? It does. That is a great observation. <laughs> that's a great observation. Those two line up. So when we get to the eyes, that's an excellent um, measuring point, okay? Okay, so let's get this collar in, and this collar is going to... Uh, going to circle around the back of his you see this it's going to circle around just like that and we're going to come in straight now we'll come back in and work on his uh his jacket here just in just a bit okay all right so there's there's about where the other side is going to be Now, as far as his mustache goes, you know, you can, I'm going to add just some uh, surface lines. And the same thing over here. A little bit of a, a bit of an S curve in there. All right, let's get these eyes in now. Let's move up. Let's start moving up to the eyes. It's Ebony. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, Ebony. Good. Thank you. <laughs> All right, let's let's move up. Let's move up here and and just so that you know, usually the corners of the eye line up with the outside of the part of the wings of the nose, okay? So there's there's the wing of the nose, so we can we can kind of come up and put a little dot right there. That will be the inside of the eye, and we can't see can't see that uh, the nostril, the wing on the other side, but we can kind of guess where the uh, that uh, inside that tear duct is going to be on his other eye. You see that? Okay, and, and as Ebony so clearly uh, pointed out that the outside of the eyebrow, the outside of the mustache, we could put another little dot in there so we kind of know the width of the eye on that side. And this almost goes to the edge. Of the side of the face. Now, as I look at these, uh, what I'm doing when I draw eyes, this is what I'm looking for. Like there's there's the tear duct. Let me change a different color here so you can see it. There's the tear duct. And then the outside is a little bit lower. I'm very, very observant to where, where the eyes, the inside to the outside. And so the same thing here. It's like this. And it's slightly lower there, okay? All right, let's go ahead and put those in there. So top of the eye, I usually draw it with two lines. Bottom is usually three or it's like an S curve. Same thing on this side. We're going to come up, down. All right, we see that lower end there like this. OK, 
Okay, look to the whites of the eyes and, and let's get these uh, pupils in. Now this is gonna, this is gonna be to the far right. Here we go now. So that this outside eye is the eyelid is a bit droopy, okay? And the same thing with this one over here. Let's get those eyelids in place. All right, now this guy has some awesome looking bags under his eyes, so let's, let's just kind of lightly put those lines in here. get this ear in place all right so looking at this ear here okay let's get the outside it comes in with this quite a bit of an angle here right let me start that off with a C come in the inside with another C but the bottom turns into like a question mark almost okay let's get the Y of the ear in place And if you're not sure about the why of the ear, I'll link a video in the description that you can uh, take a closer look at that. All right, let's talk about hats here now. I'm gonna make his head a little bit smaller because of this top hat. So whenever whenever I draw hats, I'm always going to ignore the brim. I don't even want to think about the brim. Okay, so here's let's uh here let's let's do this. Let's practice. Let's practice for a second. Let's let's draw three. Like cartoony round heads so let me show you the difference between drawing a baseball cap a uh, cowboy hat and then a top hat all right so the first thing first thing is I ignore the brim and I just think of where where the thing sits on their head okay so let's just say we're gonna do this and you could do this three times here just like that So we'll call A and B and C. So let's just say on A, okay, 
A was going to be a top hat, I would do something like this, right? And then I'd curve, curve the top, right? If B was a cowboy hat, I think of a cowboy hat and it's without a brim, it's going to be something like this. And then if C was a baseball cap, it's just going to be something like this. All right. So let's go ahead and jump to A. And let's just say we're going to draw this as a top hat. What I'm looking for is this right here. Let me show you. I'm thinking of where where that where the edge of that is, where the top is that, where the bridge where the edge of that is, and where this goes behind the head. Okay. So here, let's just say this is like kind of my center line. So this might be that might be the front brow there. There's a side over there, right? side over here and that's where it goes behind his head okay now I just go follow the dots so you come around like this come around like this and there are the beginnings of a top hat okay let's say we had a cowboy hat all right, so let's see now. Duh, duh, duh. All right, so the brim on a cowboy hat might be right there. Uh, the sides might be up here, and it might be way over here. Now, if I was going to draw a cowboy hat, I would make sure I have one on hand for reference. So, but with this, now we could just kind of come around here. And there, that would be our cowboy hat. Now, if this was a baseball cap, let's say the baseball cap's going in this direction. So there would be the, the, the brim, right? Watch. And we just come around like this. So when I draw caps, I always just try the, the top part there first, all right? Okay. Oh, let's get rid of that too. All right, let's give this man a hat. So, okay, let's kind of come up here and, and get the whole cap down. Oops. Not worried about the brim yet. This is going to have a bit of an oval on top. And this, the side up here, this is going to be somewhat concave there, and it's going to be concave there as well. Okay. 
Okay, look at, look at, here's the tip of the brim. It's almost to the side of his face. You see that? And there's the outside edge, and there's the outside edge way over there. So let's put those marks in, and we can aim toward that. So this is going to be right about there. We want to trust what we see, and this is going to be a little bit higher. It's going to be right about there. And where's this one? Okay, it's going to be way outside the ear here. It's going to be way back here, maybe. Okay, so this, the first, let's draw the right-hand side first. So this is a, a beautiful S-curve, just a very nice, gentle S-curve. So here we go. And it's going to circle around. And this other side is going to be a C-curve. I'm going to make my, I'm going to make my hat adjustment on the inside just a little bit there. Look at the band. Now let's move on to the band and look where the band is falling on on its coming around over here like this. Then this reflection, I'm just gonna, for right now, I wanna keep drawing. I don't wanna get caught up in adding a lot of tone to this hat, but I'm just gonna put a line down the center here so I know about where that reflection's gonna be. Let's get this hair in here. So it's hair is going to come in here like this, and we can add a little, just a little bit of tone here, right? All right. Let's let's add let's add a little bit of value here. So. I'm going to keep my value. I'm just going to add one value right now. All right. So it's kind of going to match the value that's underneath his lip. So watch what I do. I'm going to kind of just draw a containment line. It's going to go above the nose. Down the side of the nose. Above the eye. All right. So now I know what I need to do. So I'm just going to come in here with a light tone keeping this all very even. Now I'm going to work in, go back into that darker tone and add just a, so just a little mark for his eyebrows where they would go.
simplifying some of my values here. Underneath his brim, darker value. Now look at this, this is interesting. Look underneath his chin there. He has that nice reflective shadow. You see that? Where it's underneath here, it's it's really bright and then it gets darker to the edges there. So we want to add some tone underneath here like this and some tone down here. And then I can even see some tone on the side of his head. Like I said, I'm just trying to make this nice and, and simple, nice and clean. All right, let's get this band in here and maybe drop in a, a nice dark value onto this top hat here. So. Just gonna come in here. Get my edges nice and sharp. And then hit the edge here. Looking carefully now, this is gonna, there's a little bit of a dark core shadow here and then it gets light and then it gets dark again. Okay. Now I'm just going in here and just kind of cleaning up this tie and collar. And there you go. I think that's going to do it for tonight. <clears throat> so, uh, so as you can see that we've, we've drawn this on a three quarter view here, got the shapes in place and then went back in and added value. Okay. Well, listen, hey, thanks for this great year. Thanks for tuning in tonight and, uh, hanging out with me as we, uh, work through this uh, this uh, kind of uh, <laughs> New Year's Eve Victorian man. Can't wait to see your drawings in the Facebook group. Thanks for watching, everyone. Ebony, uh, have a great New Year. AJ, you too. And I will uh, talk to you guys on Monday, okay? My name's Kurt. I'm a dad who draws. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.